Ladies and gentlemen, now for our traditional passing the torch remarks, please welcome last year's Technologist of the Year, Vice President of the Office of the Customer for AT&T, Sarita D. Rao. Good evening, and my heartfelt congratulations to our 2012 Technologist of the Year, Senior Vice President of Engineering Development and Technology for General Dynamic Land Systems, General Dynamics Corporation, Sonia Sepaban. While it's easy and natural for us to be drawn into the aura that accompanies receiving these awards, and I'm most grateful for having received mine last year, there's so much more going on here. The Women of Color Conference is a big picture event of great significance. I say that because this is a forum where we can come together to innovate, share best practices, and become thought leaders we were meant to be for our country, our companies, and ourselves. We are the waves of change that advance innovation. We are the architects of invention that propel technology forward. And this collective power drives the engine that creates oceans of opportunities for us and for upcoming generations. We're also empowered by the fortitude and grace as expressed by our honorees tonight. Theirs are not acceptance remarks. What we've heard throughout this evening are their personal stories of strength in the face of adversity, of positivity in the shadows of discouragement, and resolve above all else. We can all relate. We have all been there. Tonight, it is my great honor to pass the proverbial torch to a most deserving recipient. Here to introduce her, please welcome back the Senior Vice President of Human Resources and Administration for General Dynamics Corporation, Walter Oliver. Thank you. During more than three decades in aerospace and defense industry, Sonia Sepaban has brilliantly made her mark in advancing science and technology. Today, she leads all engineering programs for our $4.6 billion General Dynamics Land Systems Organization with 10,000 employees worldwide. She said when she first joined General Dynamics, she wanted to improve and help save lives of warfighters, and she did. Her responsibility for driving technology within our organization's engineering function led to the development and design of solutions for rapid product launches, such as the Stryker Double V Hull Maneuver um, co uh, Collaboration Center. The Stryker Double V Hull is an innovative vehicle design that has drastically reduced by order of magnitude the number of casualties from roadside bombs among our combat troops. The Maneuver Collaboration Center is an effort to institutionalize that process that was created for that solution. Once an aspiring astronaut, her prophetic career spans government, domestic and international industries, building aircraft, manned and un unmanned space systems, she spent 10 years at NASA, where she worked on programs including the Space Shuttle, the International Space Station, and the Crew Rescue Vehicle. She led a Euro-Japanese-NASA-Russian team as project manager for the, the Crew Escape Capsule. This was responsible for successfully modifying the Russian Salyuz capsule as a lifeboat for the astronauts orbiting in our space station. At Northrop Grumman, her significant accomplishments in space technology culminated in the appointment as Vice President of Mission Excellence and Chief Engineer for Northrop Grumman Space Technology. Over 12 years, uh, she was led uh, improvements in systems engineering processes across space technology programs business and technology development. As president and vice president of the technology development process, she was responsible for identifying and acquiring technology space for exploration initiatives. This multicultural, 
trilingual daughter of immigrant parents, is a consummate leader who is committed to diversity, education, and community. She has served on multiple boards of organizations where the mission is to develop leadership capabilities for women and minorities and guide our youth to careers to follow in STEM. She encourages on upcoming generations to remember that engineering is a great adventure and no one knows that better than Sonia. On the behalf of General Dynamics, we are proud to present the 2012 Women of Color Technologist of the Year, Sonia Sepapan. to accept this award on behalf of my engineering team at General Dynamics Land Systems. We have made our own waves of change and seized upon oceans of opportunity with a single-minded focus on the challenges our military faces at the front lines and on the solutions that our customers need and expect of us around the world. What drives us and causes the level of innovation that is being recognized tonight is our passion. Our passion for doing everything we can to make warfighters around the world safer and as operationally effective as possible. The theme of this event takes me back to my childhood where change and diversity were the only constants in my life. These changes took me from Philadelphia, where I was born, to immigrant parents, to cities across three continents that were halfway around the world. My parents came from as diverse backgrounds as you could possibly imagine. My father, was a brilliant engineer. By the time I was born, he already had several patents and many technical accomplishments. But it was my mother, an incredibly talented and passionate artist, who insisted that I should pursue my passion for STEM. She has inspired and encouraged me throughout my life and continues to support me throughout my career. I am very fortunate and largely credit the diversity of my non-traditional background for a natural sense of curiosity and an unwavering resolve to find solutions and to never give up. I believe curiosity is at the source of all innovation. There seems to be some concern today in our country about the slowing pace of creativity and innovation. I believe we all need to play a part in reawakening and motivating the new generation to develop the same sense of curiosity and adventure that this nation was built upon. can make great strides in shaping 
and creating a tidal wave of innovation that will carry us forward. But curiosity alone is not enough. No worthwhile innovation is ever easy. Or it would have already been done. In our complex and highly interconnected world, it's imperative that we connect the dots and see the whole picture. It's becoming more and more difficult, perhaps impossible, to solve problems in isolation. In fact, a common factor in environments that breed innovation seems to be openness and collaboration. I am truly blessed to have grown up in a family with a tribal-like devotion to each other, shared values, and a common purpose, where it seemed unthinkable to go it alone in any aspect of our lives. I believe this has been at the root of my collaborative bent. Years later, when I was considering an engineering graduate program overseas, I realized how fortunate we are for the openness and flexibility that are the hallmarks of our nation, and indeed, attract the best and the brightest to this country. Sometimes, however, it seems we may be getting away from this spirit of collaboration when we see the highly partisan behaviors displayed publicly. We must get back to the key ingredient that has made this country great, leveraging the rich diversity of our cultures. We must encourage and support collaboration in any shape and form, anywhere, and any time we can. So to summarize, I believe there are two essential ingredients to successfully ride the waves of change and take advantage of oceans of opportunity. They are curiosity and collaboration. I am truly delighted to be before you, and I thank you again for this honor. I am also thankful for my family, especially my mother and my dear son, who are my best friends, my outstanding team at General Dynamics, and this great country of ours. God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.